Animals like cats and squirrels have an amazing ability to land on their feet after a fall. In this video, we show how a similar feat can be performed with a quadruped robot. How does this work? Cats perform this seemingly physics-defying feat by exploiting conservation of angular momentum. Conservation of angular momentum allows us to change angular velocity without applying external forces, simply by changing the distribution of mass. Figure skaters use this to spin rapidly. First, they spin slowly with their arms outstretched. As they bring their arms close, they spin faster, since the distribution of mass is closer to the axis of rotation. Falling cats use a similar trick. They bend their back and counter-rotate their front and back halves. How can we use this information to control a robot? Unfortunately, a robot doesn't have a flexible spine, so we can't directly imitate a cat's motion. Even worse, the legs are designed to be super lightweight, so moving them around doesn't change the distribution of mass. We give the robot a more flexible mass distribution by designing special heavy boots. We solve the design problem using trajectory optimization. Trajectory optimization is an algorithm that finds a motion for the robot that minimizes a given cost. In our case, the cost is simply the angle between the robot and the floor at the end of the motion. The trajectory optimizer has access to a detailed physics model of the robot, so it can automatically exploit conservation of angular momentum. Trajectory optimization works great in simulation we can get the robot to land on its feet from almost any initial orientation. But in real life, we need to find an optimal trajectory very fast. The robot will need to detect that it's falling, calculate its starting orientation, and start executing a recovery trajectory all in a fraction of a second. We solve this problem with supervised machine learning. Specifically, we train a neural network to imitate the output of the trajectory optimizer. At runtime, the network takes as input the current orientation and joint angles, and outputs a trajectory that will land the robot on its feet. You can think of this network as learning a reflex. This works pretty well. It only takes the network about 2 milliseconds to generate a trajectory and the robot lands on its feet from a variety of initial orientations. Nice. 